Welcome back to Rockstar 101. His name is Brandon. He's the DJ. His name is Shim. He is the rock star. Class is in session. I got to tell you, I'm kind of excited about this episode a little bit, my man. I'm kind of excited because I didn't really have a whole lot planned. And just in the past five minutes of us rambling about other things, um, there's a lot of things I really want to talk about. Let's do it. Let's get into it right now. A lot of things. Right now. Like we're going to be talking about Twitch and how I'm going to be broadcasting on Twitch now. So I know you've been plugging it. So for anybody who wants to go find it, you can find me over on Twitch now. It is at The Real Brandalorian. I'll be uh, broadcasting. By the time this episode drops, the first broadcast will be up. So just stay tuned over there but you have been having issues with your computer uh as we're trying to do this and wait, wait, hold, you get all pissy hold on i'm going somewhere. i didn't say anything i didn't say anything oh yeah you reacted yeah yeah you forget i can... shock horror Go so um, shim reacts so wow. shim's Sorry. trying to explain to me shim was like oh then one of the things you're going to learn with obs and i was like I, I know about obs it's a program that we use to live stream and it's what we use for the morning show and man this is going to be a, a radio topic because you know how Rockstar 101 started out. You kind of talked about the rock star side of things. I talked about the radio side of things. Here is the epic struggle that we deal with on a daily basis when it comes to radio. So we pay for the rights to play music on the FM dial. Okay, that's how we're able to play the songs. We pay the right. We put ASCAP and uh, BMI and all that other stuff, but we don't pay any royalties to stream it. Right. So. When we stream, we, first, we originally started on YouTube. The stream has since moved to the Buzz Adams Morning Show Facebook page. And then we're hoping to move to Twitch soon. But the what, thing we have to deal with is we were playing, uh, I think I may have mentioned this on an episode of Rockstar 101, it may not have, but when System of a Down yeah. released their new songs, within eight to 10 seconds of us Sorry, playing yes. the song, we got booted yeah. off of. Uh, Facebook. It was like, yeah. hey, copyrighted material. Uh, so we just we would restart the stream. Now our corporate overlords, corporate they get overlords. those notifi- the overlords, they get those notifications that we have been booted off of Facebook. They clearly don't know what the hell is going on because right. they assume we're producing full videos, putting them up online, and then that's it. Yeah. They don't look into anything. They don't figure. They don't ask questions about what the hell is going on. All they say is, well, you guys need to figure this out. And we tell them, like, what well, we have. Like, right. the reason we left YouTube is we got a 90 day ban for one copyright strike on YouTube. Wow. Wow. So we ended, so that's why we left YouTube and we've gone to Facebook. Right. Facebook hasn't been as much of an issue. Yeah, we'll get booted off, but we just restart the stream because we're live streaming something. Yeah. So we didn't figure that it was that big of a deal. Of course, corporate looks at it like, oh my yeah, God, we're going to get sued corporate. for hundreds of millions of dollars yeah. for this. And we're like, no, because the videos don't get saved. Yeah. <clears throat> like we don't. So we used to, man, back in, back in, back in the good old days. Back in the day, take, to, take the juke out and let you hear detection. We used to archive all the shows on YouTube. So you could go to YouTube and, find, and watch the whole show. YouTube. But we can't do that anymore. You, when you say obviously... YouTube like that, it sounds like a dog kind of barking with a bit of a lisp. YouTube. 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 <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like that? Yeah, exactly. So. So anyway, so it's to the point now, I got into this email exchange with one of our corporate guys um, earlier this week, and he's like, hey, he sends me an article from, I think it was like The Verge or something like that. And it was like, this is, you know, Twitch is now like pulling down streams and, and it, you know, they're, they're cracking down hardcore. Yep. But then I found an article from like, that, that exact same timeline that was like, oh, Twi- Twitch a- apologized for that because Twitch is a streaming platform. They make their money from people creating content. And it's going to, you know, occasionally something that is copyrighted might fly in there on a live stream. Now, I understand if you're going to archive it and save it and leave that up as, you know, on demand content for later. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to do that. Right. And they're just, they, I, I, I was so pissed. They shoot down everything right fucking everything to the point where it's like oh twitch twitch does or youtube does no our corporate overlords oh yeah 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 so we he's like well i don't think the twitch is gonna be as big of a a solution as you think it is and i'm like yeah but it's a stopgap for the time being like while we work on things this is a viable solution so i love it wait wait wait, you're the one how much does this guy know about twitch to say i don't think twitch is going to be the solution how much does he know I'm pretty sure he read that one article. Okay. Which is sad because these are the guys, these are our digital corporate guys that need to be in on the digital world 
But the problem with radio, and it's not just the company that I work for. It, it, well, quite frankly, the company I work for is vastly superior in the digital aspect of things right. compared to previous companies I've worked for. Right. Um, it's, it's a pain in the butt, and we think it's a pain in the butt, but they've been really good at it. Like right. that, that is something that's been um, – that i got to give them credit for. But right. the problem is about a year ago when it came to our podcast – they said flat out, do whatever the hell you want. We don't care what you do. Yeah. Just don't get busted for copyright infringement. Yeah. We're like, fine, that's not a big deal. So we, I set up a laptop to record the show. The only thing it records are the microphones and the telephone. So anything coming from a computer, it's not going to record that. Right, right. And then we go put in copyright-free music after the fact. Yeah. So that we don't have anything copyrighted within the podcast. We get emails all the time about people who are like, did you know that there's a sound playing and we can't hear it? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, like we have to do that. Like, we're not allowed to put that in there. Yeah, yeah. So fast forward a year after that, all of a sudden the corporate overlords come in and they're like, oh, we can sell this. You guys have a really successful podcast. Now you need to change how you do it because we're changing the rules for us. And I was fucking pissed because for about two weeks, maybe longer, we didn't have a podcast because their new system was broken right. and it wouldn't upload. And we kept asking them, and they're like, well, it's got to be on your end. So you guys are doing something right. You're the only ones. And then when it finally we pointed out the error, or they caught it, they go, oh, that's us. Our bad. And I'm like, fuck you guys, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, you got, like, I, look, I have no problems working with you guys, but it doesn't feel like you guys want to work with us. Yeah, yeah. You want to sit up here in your fucking corporate chair, right. talk down to us like we're idiots. Right. Then when we find the solution to the problem, you're going to be a fucking dick about it and then change our solution? No. Right. Anyway, I'm venting a little bit. A little bit. It's all right. It's all right. That's what we're here for. It's, no, man, you should have heard you me. Should, you, I, a, I can't wait for you to get on Twitch because this sort of shit on Twitch is what flies, dude. You're going to go well. <laughs> you're going to go well. Well, this is the kind of shit that you're going to get get on Twitch, at least on my Twitch channel, which yeah. again is at the real brand of Dude, I told um, people last week I'm going to try to clean up my stream a bit, which really yeah. is just not swearing as much because I swear yeah. way too much, like all the time, every second word. And so, I, and a lot, so many people came back and said, no, like they were livid. They, there was a lot of people that came back and they were like, don't change it. Don't make it cleaner. Cause, it, cause apparently I'm the only pot, the only stream in music that really lets it rip. I don't know. Oh yeah. But I was like, I don't like, I'll still be me. I'm not going to suddenly turn into like some, you know, kiss top 40. Yeah. Or something like that. Some kiss top 40 DJ or whatever. That's just rainbows and sunshine. And let's go and look up the top three blogs of happy, distracting anyway, things that happened today. Here's Wonderwall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, but people, yeah, people, they want, they want some reality. They want some reality check. You'll lose well, some see, viewers for it. I thought about it when I was going through setting up the, the, the Twitch channel and you, and you can click that box and whether or not it's like mature content. Yeah, it's definitely. And it, it, it's mature. very admin. It's like, this doesn't mean sex. <laughs> like, right. it doesn't mean you're doing it on camera, but it's really essentially like the topics that you're talking about. And if you're cursing or not, in the back of my brain, I'm like, God, I should really keep it clean because I think I could get a bigger audience. But then as no. I'm really thinking about it, I'm like, do I really want to do that? Like, because then I'm not being me, and kind of the whole point Here's is the me thing. To just go be me. When I say keep it clean, right? I've said some outlandish shit on my stream sometimes. I have called. Mm -hmm. There was one woman whose name I'm not gonna. <laughs> I made myself stop and go. That might have been uh -oh, too far. Um, no, they. This this woman came in who um, will know who she is, but. She was fucking with me. She was coming in and she was, you know, she she wanted a little bit of a fucking banter back and forth. She's very nice. But she was mouthing off, you know, and she came in and she, uh, I, I, I do a little thing called Who Is Your Daddy and What Does He Do from the Arnold Schwarzenegger Kindergarten Cop thing, Who Is Your Daddy and What Does He Do, which is basically like, you know, where do you live and what do you do for work? Like, to, like give us a little bit of info on you since you're new to the stream. Mm -hmm. She wrote out her entire bio. And she's a rock photographer who does this and that. And she started dropping names of bands and festivals. And I'm like, I started to read the like first sentence. And then I realized this is a bio and you're spamming me almost like you're not actually spamming me, but you're, and I just destroyed this poor woman. I just was like, you're, if you're here trying to get a job, you're fucked up. Like you're in the wrong fucking place. And I just started railing this poor woman. She came back the following day and I was talking about something to do with, 
like uh, I, I think I started fucking with her again and I told her like oh let me guess you're like you're a woman in her late 30s early 40s but you're still wearing torn jeans but you drive a soccer mom van and she drove and she said I would never drive a soccer mom van and I said yeah that's what women say when they can't get a man and I just oh. <laughs> <laughs> just man oh my god <laughs> and that's what I said I was at- like did you like blank out like it, like it was such a gut reaction like you weren't even thinking I it did was just I did I did reaction that I was did. it but it was so clean and it was so and everyone in the chat just went oh shit like i i actually had to stop what i was saying and go back up that might have been too far she took it like a champ she was like because i don't know you it's the weirdest her, thing man. it's the weirdest thing when you're talking to chat this could be some young girl older woman guy kid from uruguay you got no idea who these people actually are and uh-huh. so <clears throat> you you could throw out anything you could say anything as long as it's obviously not real, like real bigotry, like anything that's a bit of a roast and a bit of fun. And it might not Mm -hmm. land at all because it turns out they're not being honest about, you know, where they're at or what they're doing. Most people, 99% of the time they are. And I'm pretty Mm -hmm. sure she is, but she took it like a champ. She's a rock chick. So she was like, yeah, fuck you, fuck the world, you know, all that sort of stuff. She's she's, she's punk rock. She's, She's punk rock. And she keeps coming back. So once, when they keep coming oh, back for more, I'm like, yeah, she's, you can kind of tell when you start yeah. fucking with someone, when they keep coming back or when they write back in, like, especially if they're, um, what's the word I'm looking for? If they're, if they're on point with their humor, like they're kind of, mm-hmm. on, they're on top of it. They're not like just they like, they know it's, it's comedic. Yeah. Band. They're, they're kind of, they're, they're walking the same lane. And so, yeah, then it works. But that was where, here's the point that I'm coming back around to. That sort of banter, that sort of thing, I didn't really swear at all when I was messing with her. But there are, so that's, I'm not talking about cleaning up the stream as in being less evocative or, you know, in your face or punk rock. I'm just talking about literally the amount of fucks and shits that I say is too much. Mm -hmm. It's over the top. And I realized that um, there's a few other streamers that are still from bands doing their thing. And even they, like, there's guys in hardcore bands that don't swear as mm-hmm. much as me because they're probably <laughs> trying or or maybe I'm just being lazy. But I'm yeah, like... I mean, it's possible. I really think it's probably just like, dude, when you just hear a guy constantly swearing all the time just because it's it's just a habitual now, then people just come in and they're like, okay, he's just swearing in between the next song, whatever, off to the next stream. And so in terms of being yeah. calculated and looking at it as a job, you go, all right, let's keep it for... You know, I remember my godfather taught me a valuable lesson with acting where he played, uh, this is a sidebar, but it's relevant to the point. He played uh, a character in a prison break movie. It was called, uh, it wasn't called Prison Break, but it was about a, he was basically the head of the prison. And uh, and all, the, all the, the criminals in this prison, every second word was fuck this, fuck that, this, 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 the C mm-hmm. word, whatever. And it was, a, you know, a late 70s Australian drama film. So there was just lots of swearing, lots of sex, all that sort of stuff. And my godfather actually went in and changed the script with the director's approval and said, I think my character should not swear at all. I think he mm-hmm. should he should be the, if he's the authority. Straight line, yeah. He should be the guy that, the, and just because everyone else is, it'll set him apart. And then also there will become, there's one line where he'll say the word and that will be the line where you go, oh, he's scared now because he finally said fuck. He's like, that character would not say that unless it something was cr- it wrong. Cause it, it's, it creates so much more power in the yeah. word when it's used far less. Yeah. And so, and but yeah. I, he taught me that when I was like eight like and I was so starting, <laughs> and I had started swearing like I was eight to ten years old and I started dropping it here and there a little bit and he and he, he didn't tell me like you shouldn't do that he said like if you're gonna use it use it when it counts and he told me that story and he was like I swore once in the that's film that's a good way to go and everyone remembered that performance because it was because I, I made choices and I was like cool I'm not making choices right now I'm just habitually swearing because I came from the backstage of a rock show after years of touring and like fuck that man, man, man. you just fucking going at it yeah so that's I, I think mean, that's-, that's for you you swear a lot as well but not nearly as much as me but you shouldn't be you should be 100% you and just take that note that one note of like well yeah and that's and that's one of the things that that i do need to work on is that using a curse word as a filler word is not that's not intelligence that is that's being lazy not coming up with better dialogue using a curse word to make a point when it's very rarely used that is a better uh technique i guess so that's kind of where i'm going so if you want to go check it out if you're tuning this in or if you you know follow shim if you want to go over to twitch go to twitch.tv and uh i'm at uh, it's at the real brand which is also my handle over on reddit 
and on Instagram. If you ever have a question for uh, me or for Rockstar 101 or anything else, a question or a topic, you can drop me a message. Shim, you can also find him over on Facebook. It's just at Shim. And then you also have at Shim Moore over on Twitter as well. Now, transitioning to the morning show yes. live stream. So today, first of all, we had uh, Lisa, the co-host who does the news, drop an S-bomb on the air. Beautiful, because beautiful. I'm, I'm, we, we're, we're updating a lot of the streaming stuff, and there's going to be a lot of updates that are coming to the morning show uh, Facebook stream, and it, hopefully eventually Twitch stream as well. Like We're going to be on both. Uh, some are going to be good. Some people probably aren't going to like. Unfortunately, it's just what we're dealing with. Right. But what happened was I did this split screen so that like, it was like Buzz, Lisa, myself, and Joanna, so the four members of the show right. all on the screen at once. And we were talking about Lisa's camera being a little bit too high. Like you could only see essentially from her nose up. No, I'm looking, you can at, find now I'm looking at my camera. <laughs> yeah, and that, you can find it. You can find this video. It's up at buzzadamshow.com. And what happened was Daver listens to the show and that's our engineer. And that dude is on point when he, like when he listens to the show and he hears there's a problem, it took him 20 seconds from us talking about her camera being off. To him being in the studio yeah. that's literally a, a brisk walk down the hallway right. that's how long it took him that's how quickly he's going to go fix this right now the problem is david forgets that we're live on the air oh, shit. and we can't hear him so what happened was where i am sitting at if you're like if you're looking at me the front door the door to the studio is to my left yeah, yeah. lisa's facing me on the other side of the desk yeah so when david walks in i don't see him because my attention's over here and David walks in and he comes behind Lisa and her reaction is, oh, shit. Oh, God. On the air. Like, like she got a was, shock. Like she got a shock. Yeah, oh, yeah. she, she terrible. And, and right. that's the thing. And David's almost done that to me. He's almost made me curse on the other right. because he don't know what he's there. <laughs> like he wears like those sneakers that don't make any noise and he, and he makes his way in. And it's hilarious. But if you want to see that video, you can find it over at uh buzzadamshow.com you can see the actual reaction because we're talking about the the new screen setup that we had going on and how we're doing yeah. the four four scenes now and yeah. there's a lot of different things that we're going to be doing yeah yeah but that's definitely something that you can uh uh you can go check out but it's funny that you're talking about how people don't mind getting beat up yeah. or or kind of you know getting into it on uh the stream because it's it's different for us sometimes because i think that some of our audience forgets Jokes get old quickly because right. so many people make the jokes or it just gets tiring what sometimes. What sort of jokes are you talking about? Well, so we had a really good segment yesterday that we wanted to replay today. And right. essentially what we do is we always want to make sure there's like a two-hour gap between when something runs. So if we do something at 6 a.m. in the morning and we really like it, we might replay that at 8 or 8.15 or 8.30, like later on in the show. Because... Right. Most people only listen to the show for 15 minutes. It's generally their drive into work. Occasionally they'll listen while they're getting ready and then they're drive into work and that's it. Right. But we have people on the Facebook chat. They listen. They, they're there at 5 a.m. and they, they don't sign off till 10. What do they do? What are they doing? They're working and watching us. And there's some that are like, hey, it's my day off. So now I just actually get to watch you guys completely. You know, in golf today, I don't have to worry about getting interrupted at work. Okay, see, but you're saying they watch for the whole four hours uninterrupted. Cool. Five hours. Five, five hours. Of, oh, sorry. And they'll occasionally, you know, bounce in and out. But for the for the most part, there's some people, That's they're cool. on at five and they don't leave until 10. And the the issue that we had today where I, I, I kind of had to call somebody out on it is that the joke is always like, oh, Buzz must be having to go to the bathroom. And maybe his stomach hurts or something. It's like... After that gets old after yeah, yeah, yeah and it's yeah. like okay like we get it like that was funny but it's it's one of those things yeah. where if it, if you and i are personally joking about it that's one thing yeah but when it's coming from from the chat it's different because there's no face-to-face -face interaction with them yeah we like to interact as much as we can but yeah. it is just still through text yeah but it's also the same repetitive stuff because one person might make that joke one day and then somebody else makes that joke the next day and then yeah. the next day somebody else makes the exact same joke and we're yeah. like okay we get it yeah but they don't but they don't necessarily know that you know right, what I mean? right, because right. they may might not see that so that's where it's kind of difficult like i don't want to tell them hey stop joking around 
But I also called the guy out. I mean, I'm like, it can be a little but bit taxing. But wait, they're joking it's around. the same shit. They're joking around in the chat? Yes. So why do you have to uh, acknowledge it? The chat? Because yeah. the, the chat is a big part of the show. No, I know. But why do you have to acknowledge? Why do you have to acknowledge those one that one joke, that one set of people that are making that joke? Because it's not – because it, it, it's usually it's a lot more than just one. And you can also see the effect that it has on other people. Like one of the things that will happen is if the camera gets left on buzz during a commercial break, he puts a, um, a sticky note over his camera so you can't see him. And people would complain about that. Right. And, and the one thing that we kept trying to explain is like, like people would, would mock the things that he would do when he didn't think he was on camera. And it's like you don't realize what that's like. To just be on film and not be able to take, you know, you're on for 20 straight minutes. You want to take a five minute break and not be on camera yeah. and not have to worry about, you know, everything that's going on. And yeah. it, it becomes very taxing and it becomes very, uh, it's just, it, it's very heavy to deal with constantly. Yeah. And so that's why. And because if, because if I, if I feel if I don't, because those, those happen far free, more frequently than infrequently. You know what wow. I mean? Really? Okay. So that's. So, and it's just, and it's so, just got to be a reminder of, Let me hey, ask you like, this: When you yeah. do your stream, how long are you planning to stream for? I don't know. When I was doing the after buzz, I tried to keep it to a half an hour, um, but it would sometimes stretch to about an hour. Or so. Okay, so you might this might shock you, but uh -huh. um, in the in the Twitch realm, uh, if you're doing less than three hours, you're not a real streamer. Like this is not me. This is the this is I I was shocked when I oh, heard no, this. Oh no, I can see that. I yeah. can totally see. I that. was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like I and if I don't do at least three hours per stream, I'm some fucking tourist. And they were like, yeah, kind of, yeah, because that's what yeah. every, everyone else is doing three to six to eight hour streams. And I was like, it took me about a week to go. All right, so I got to be ready to rock and roll, and at least three hours per stream, <laughs> unless it's a lockdown session. Those are usually two, just because those are like set now um but mm. usually i'll just i'll just finish the lockdown session and do something else for an hour or whatever they'll usually go for three hours anyway um but this is the thing that takes i, I think a lot of people i think this is why a lot of people i'm glad we're talking about this because my favorite subject to talk about at the moment and rockstar 101 vibe you know you want to go this is what rockstar jonathan davies signed up this week like people are the getting Twitch? yeah 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 they're all they're moving over like because and maybe it's because the, the lockdown started happening again and a lot of people were like oh christ all right i'm gonna have to get on this i thought thing this now. thing was gonna be over yeah yeah not, that, dude really this is dude i'm sorry but this is exactly what i said was gonna happen you remember when i started in like may mm -hmm. and i said it's not about the now it's about six to twelve months from now when the second yep. wave hits and i said mm -hmm. i'm getting my shit together so that I'm ahead of the game, so that I'm live streaming at the beginning of 2021, because that year is when people are going to be like, fine, I'm just going to fucking stay home, get comfortable and, and figure out how, instead of being on the fence. And mm -hmm. people are pissed. I think people are depressed a little bit, but people will figure it out. And, and not, don't get me wrong, Twitch is not the answer to the world's problems or anything like that, but there's going to be a yeah. huge audience that will discover Twitch because they'll be looking for something. There's only so mm -hmm. much Netflix you can watch in a day or a week. If you can't go out, you're looking for... When they find this interactive stream concept, they'll go, mm -hmm. oh, this is... It's kind of like kind of like a hang. It's not, not the same. And I think the thing that holds a lot of people back is that they go... Like, I was talking to someone else in the music business yesterday. And they were like, you know, the live streaming thing is cool. But dude, you know, people want to go to shows. I'm like, yeah, it's not the same thing. Your problem yeah, they is, want to, but, but they're they not can't. being allowed to. Like, yeah. it's not a matter of what you want to do. It's yeah. what you're limited to what you can oh, do. It's not even that. It's this bizarre mentality that people have that they go, oh, man, like, you know, live streaming will never replace the concert. No one's – if you're trying to replace the live concert with live streaming, you failed. You have to look yeah. at it for what it is. It's a different format. It's the same as radio – being a radio DJ. When you do three hours on – KLAQ, it is an mm -hmm. absolutely different format than live streaming on Twitch because you don't have any of the boundaries and limitations that you do. You don't have to cut to ads. You don't have to read the weather. You don't have to do anything. You, but you also can't take as many breaks as you might do. You don't have you don't have the fail so the the safety nets. It's a different fucking thing. When you accept that it's a different thing, then you can go cool. So what do I do on this thing now? And when you're talking to other people and you go, you know, no, I mean unless you're the Stones. 
or the Foo Fighters, mm-hmm. no one plays three or, or Springsteen. You don't play for three hours straight. You do two hours maybe, two and a mm-hmm. half maybe. Three hours is the minimum for a stream. Three to four to five to six hours. You look at anyone who's in the music and they're going to go, I'm not fucking doing something for six. You want me to be live on rolling for six fucking hours? I'm like, yeah, that's what it takes. Now, if you're playing a video game, you don't have to expend as much energy. You're playing the game, whatever. You can yeah, play. I think that's one of the reasons why I want to be able to do the video game thing because it also gives me a reason to play video games. Yeah, I totally get it. I totally get it. Like, I, I totally I, get do it. You know how, do you know how bad I want to get Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Oh, my God. Oh, you're love- Speaking of the beards... Speaking of beards and beard struggle, go to beardstruggle.com Dude. and uh, use promo code Brandalorian. You'll get a discount on your products, man. I use it. It's good shit. It's good shit. You will good get shit, people. You, you've got it's fans shit, through KLAQ. You got fans that will be like, okay, the Buzz Adams show's finished. The podcast is finished. I'm 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 bored. Brandon's live. Fuck yeah, let's hang out with Brandon while he plays some video games. You get you'll get people watching you. And the the best thing, dude, I'm telling you, you will call me one day when you uh-huh. get your first Twitch check and you've played video games for a bunch of time that month, and you'll go to your wife and you'll be like, "Fucking take a look at this. Look at this shit. <laughs> I'm doing, man. I'm working. Yeah. I'm showing you. I'm working. Yeah, yeah. You will literally well, be she's- like." Oh, and I'm actually glad you brought that up because she is going to start her own Twitch channel as well because something that she's been doing really since the lockdown happened because she got laid off is she started her own business and she's a physical therapist, hands down the best damn physical therapist I've ever dealt with. And I've dealt right. with a lot because yeah. I've had a lot of different surgeries. She does chiropractic and, as well, right? Huh? She does chiropractic Yeah, no, no too. fucking chiropractors here, man. Yeah. Um, but no, she... Uh, um, so she started, she used to dance like folklorico and stuff like that. Can you say that younger. again? Folklorico. For what? Folklorico. Folklorico? Oh, see, now you're getting me to say it all fucked I, up. I've never Mexican heard that dance. word. I've never heard You've that You've never word. heard of folklorico before? I'll send you a video. Fol- I, I, she's got some videos. Folklorico. I thought, I thought that you meant Yeah, I think, you're, I think you've got me saying it wrong now. <laughs> it's like folklorico. Oh. I thought you meant she used to dance for... Claudico, which was like a company oh, that did no, dancing. No, 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 no. I thought no, it was. F-L- like, I'm like, who's Claudico? F-O-L-K. I went. I went. Who's Claudico? And why did they hack at the beginning of their name? Claudico. No, 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 no. Claudico. Okay, it's, cool. No, it's 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 oh, Jesus. Sorry, um, I didn't know. <laughs> well, now you do. Yeah, now you do. Uh, you learn something new every day. Really so she um. Uh, so you, she used to dance for fucking. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's dancing for fucking. Uh, so she started a kind of a dance wellness program right. here in El Paso and and anybody can tune into it because she's doing live streams on Zoom where she's doing a a workout specifically designed for dancers she explains this is why we're doing it because in this style of dance you're going to be doing these kind of movements this is why you need to strengthen this yeah. way yeah and it's been pretty stinking successful but she wants to branch out to Twitch so I'm just I'm throwing it out there right now <laughs> for anybody on Twitch who wants to check any of this stuff out Eventually, my wife will be on there as well. We're going to get her set up, and she's yeah. going to be doing some live stuff as well, especially if you're a dancer. Like, maybe you have a kid who's a dancer. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. What, no, what it's. I think that once you get into it, I know your still style. Confused what, about <coughs> say what? You're still confused about folklorico. I don't. I'm, I'm fine. I'm past it. Um, okay. I, I'm going to look forward to seeing your wife do it so I can understand what the fuck it is. But I think you're going to get really into it once you start to – get into the individual broadcaster concept. Cause I really took the lead on it like a few months ago, Jamie Lewis, uh, Jamie Lewis, the bassist on Twitch, if you want to go check him out. Uh, he was the one that told me, I was asking him some questions about this, my, the, the visual side of my stream. And he was like, yeah, like you, I don't know if I told you this, but he, he broke it down really simply for me and said, you know, you're, you're used to making music. You've, you've directed music videos before and that's great, but you, you have a way of making your music sound really good. Like you've been doing that for 20 years. Like that's what you know. Mm-hmm. Now that's only 50% of your entire output. The, the visual, you've got to make your visual as good as your audio. Like that's your yeah. job now. You're a broadcaster. And it didn't occur to me until he said it like that where he was like, you're not a rock star musician singer. You're a broadcaster. You have to take the lead mm-hmm. on the visual side of it. And after that, I was like, fucking let's go. I'm learning about cameras and frame rates and lighting and lenses and the whole thing. 
and that's it, something it, I need because if you look behind me, this is not a very uh, exciting studio. Yeah, that yeah. I'm, and that well, I'm, no, no, no. But, operating from here. But then once you get it looking better, it'll you'll get into lights and like, wait, did you know there's these USB ones that have like five thousand different tones of purple, and you can blend them, and then you can put them to a MIDI controller that actually you can push a button and it go and like you'll it, it's never ending the amount of things you can do on the platform. And you'd think you wouldn't get into it. You'd be like, dude, it's a fucking light. But once you see other people doing it, and you're like, I could do that better. That, uh, I, I could flip it and do this or whatever. You get into it really, you really do get into it. Like I told, it's really hard to be patient now, dude. I've told the people that are working with me that I need to learn a hundred songs, a hundred covers, and we're getting close. I think we're like 70 now, 70, 75. I've been learning mm -hmm. for the last couple of months. I've just been learning songs, really learning them, not just like jangle, jangle, like getting them sounding good. So that when next year rolls around and people are finding Twitch even more than normal and things are starting to kick up, I can just roll my show. And it's like, hey, you got to pay to request a song now, and you got to pay if you if you want to request one of my songs. It's more expensive, and it's a show. But it, you can't just flip on your webcam and start singing in your fucking laptop microphone and think that's going to cut it. It ain't going to cut it anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just not going. When you look at the competition, and that's what excites me because there's a, there's five percent of the people, ten percent of the people who are doing music on Twitch are racing each other, and everyone else is just fucking. Stuck in the mud. Just trying to get their shit together. I want to. I don't want to be getting yeah. my shit together next year. You know, like I just. I no, wanna... I mean you've you've progressed pretty damn far. It's just uh, you know six seven months you've been doing it I'm so all far. About it, man, I'm all about it. Then you can teach me all that other stuff, and you and then know. I'll get my wife set up because she'll be able to do talks and she can do the actual. Let I'm telling you right now, man. Like hands down, I was I was talking to my mom about this and. I was telling her how I'm probably in the best shape I've ever been in in all 40 years I've been on this planet, including yeah. high school when I was an athlete. Right. I'm probably in better shape now because my wife fixes me on a daily basis. That really like, there's, is a blessing, There's almost yeah. a daily thing where she's like, well, and she, she checks me out, and then I tell her what's hurting, and she gives me a few exercises, and boom, all of a sudden, like, that, that's better. But yeah. then something else is going to fall, because that's just how my body's built for some strange reason. Yeah. Like, just things things get off very easily, and she is on it, man. She knows what the hell she's doing. She's the smartest goddamn PT I've ever met, and I've met a ton of them. So have you ever had a piece? Of, for that. Have you ever had a piece of your body click back in? Oh yeah, yeah. No, no, oh, no. Yeah. Not like not like because someone else manipulated it or, or physio. Oh, on, on your own? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, like I just uh -huh. <clears throat> I've had everyone knows what it feels like to have things pop out and it tweaks and you know I've I've had yeah. that problem since I was sixteen because I'm six foot four. And my low back would just fly off the fucking handles. Any tall guy's gonna know what I'm talking about. And uh, but I started. So then lockdown happens. I don't go to the gym for seven months. It's all popping out left and right. I went to a car. Yeah, yeah. I went to my chiropractor because so I I uh, I believe in chiropractors. Brandon very venomously is like fuck chiropractors. I have the opposite opinion. Chiropractors work for me and what I do. Um, no yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have a medical degree. Let's let's fucking go down the rabbit hole. Anyway, it works they for me. The point degree. is, actual doctors. is that I went to the car and I was like, dude, are you, I got adjusted and then it pops out. He was like, yeah, like you shouldn't need to see me this much. You've, you've been slacking on your exercises. It's not going to stay unless you're doing the exercise to support it. And then if you pick mm -hmm. up, if you pick up something the wrong way and it pops out, then I'll, then you come to me. So I went back to the gym and started lifting crazy heavy because I always push it too far. If I go, if I go to the time to go back to the gym, rather than like, oh, yeah, I'm like killing myself. I woke up in so much fucking pain this morning. I fell asleep yeah. at three in the afternoon yesterday from just exhaustion of my body. But then this morning, something just randomly, I just got up off the couch and it went click and it went back in because the muscles are building yeah. and putting everything back in. That's a dope feeling when like what you're saying, when you can actually like you're, you're doing your work and then you get that little moment of satisfaction, which is the opposite of, oh, it's out now pain yeah. it's in ah yeah. oh, that's better you know <laughs> it's doing the work and well, actually seeing some results that was something that we were even talking about before we started recording this episode so this will be the last thing kind of that we talk about because we got to wrap up but how we're both old men now and i, 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 I was telling I Shim, look at this face do you think this happens by accident this this is not no it's you Jim you old, Jim, struggle is real i'll tell your age on the air no i please just don't don't do it brandon shut up <laughs> What's that? What's that? Huh? Now, nah, go ahead with what you were going to say, Brandon. Anyway. Oh, uh, well, okay. So I'm an old man. At least I'm willing to admit it. Right. Um, but I, I'm to the point now that I, my, my shoulders um, have so much arthritis in them. When the weather changes to cold, yep. I can't sleep. 
it's just, I mean, it's constant fucking pain, man. Dude. It, ju- it just, the temperature just dropped here uh, about a week ago. And when I laid down in bed, I'm like, fuck, I, like, I'm not going to be able to fall asleep tonight. I'm not just because it's, it's so much goddamn pain from when the stupid weather changes. And I was like, that means I'm. That does mean that Not you're... the white in the beard or anything. That doesn't no. mean I'm old. That no. just means I've, 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 I've lived life. Yeah. <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got drugs? For what? For the for the aging, no, for the pain, bitch. No, <laughs> for the fucking no. No, I don't. I don't. I, I try not to. Okay. If I can avoid it, I'm I take. I just... I have no problem. I used to be like you. We're gonna finish up on this now. Yeah. I do not promote drugs to anyone. Don't think any. I think people should do what works for them as long as they're not hurting themselves or the, or anyone else. Um, but for me, I had the flip, and I'm interested in your thing. I had a flip of the mind when. Uh, I, I was raised, you know, you're up to 18 and it's like, you don't, you got the sniffles. No, you're not just going to take a pill. You got oh, your, your leg hurts. Can you walk on it? Yep. Yeah, you're not, you're not, you know, falling over. You just let it heal. Mm-hmm. You, you know, don't be a bitch. And then I was like 18, 19. I was talking to this guy who was like 45. He had problems like what you said. And he was like, ah, oh, this thing's bugging me. Oh, okay. And he pop uh, two or three ibuprofen. And I saw him take three instead of two. And I was like, aren't you only supposed to take two? He's like, dude. Like, he was like, just don't, just, just chill. And I'm like, and I asked him, he was like, you get one life. You get one life. You sleep for a third of it. You work for the other third. And then you get to relax sometimes on the other third. And then usually you've got shit to do and take care of it. Like very, very little time do we have to enjoy life anymore. If I'm in pain and a pill's going to take it away, I'm going to take the pill. If it's an, if it's ibuprofen or codeine, like, this isn't heroin. This isn't, you know, a bottle of scotch. Like, I, and he just had a different mentality. He was like, I don't understand why people, if you're in pain and you can take a pill, like, why wouldn't you just take the pill? Like, he, he and he, t- he, t- he precursed it and he was like, if you have to take half a bottle of pills, you've got a problem. Of course, that's a different thing. If you've got, if you're in pain and you need to take a couple of ibuprofen and then you take a couple more four hours later, just take the, like... That's what they're for. And you have a body and it's in pain. Why would you choose to be in pain? And for some reason, the way he said it was like, you want, you would rather be in pain than take this pill and not be in pain? Get a good night's sleep? Like, like you're fuck? silly for not doing this. He, yeah, he, he kind of- For not it. thinking that this is okay. Well, but yeah. for me, it's like, I mean, it's legitimate to the point, like I'm in pain on a daily basis and I just, I don't want to take that many pills. Right. See, if like it's I a- just, I, my, my poor goddamn body has just been beaten up, so. Because you're, because your athletic stuff earlier in life. Well, yeah, I mean, that, and I, there was a, a pretty heavy stretch of time where I was very unathletic. I didn't work out. I ate like shit. I drank too much. Right. Like, I, like my body has just been put you beat, through the You rainer. beat yourself up a bit. Yeah, so the, it's to the point now to where, you know, I eat healthy, I work out, and if there's pain, cool, and you, you fucking deal with it, I guess. Yeah. It's, kind, it's kind of where I'm at. And now, if it's really excruciating pain, yeah. um, like, to the point that I'm throwing, like, like, there's times where it gets so bad I throw up. Right. And yeah, I'll pop some pills to, to alleviate that pain. But if it's not to that level, I don't really. I'd be interested. I really I, I, we're going to wrap it up, but I'd be interested in our audience's opinions on that. If you throw it up in the comments or throw it up in Reddit for us with uh, at Brandon's at the real Brandalorian on Reddit. There you go. Uh, I'm getting the hang of it. But yeah, I'd be interested in what other people think of that because I know it's a very polarizing argument. No, no, your immune mm-hmm. system should do that. And other people like, dude, God created the pill for that reason or whatever. Like people go as polarizing as they possibly can. So I'd be very interested. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Really quick before we wrap up, I do want to tell you because we mentioned Netflix. Uh, I don't know if anybody else out there has seen or if you've seen it. The Queen's Gambit. Big thumbs up. Oh, yeah? On that show. It is really, really stinking good. Dude. Yeah. I've I would check it out. Okay. It's, it's yeah, it's amazing. I've, I've been kind of watching it in chunks and it is. The actress in that show is awesome. Like okay. She just does a, a fantastic job. Right. Uh, and the, the supporting cast is amazing. The writing is amazing. Like every aspect of it is just great. Right. So big two thumbs up for the queen. Copy that. Awesome. So on that note, um, again, one more time real quick at The Real Brandalorian. That's where you can find me on Reddit, Instagram, and now Twitch as well. I'll be popping on live there every now and then. Ooh. And then of course you can find Shim on Twitter. You can find him at Shim Moore. You can also find him over on Facebook as well and a big thank you to our supporters if you want to become a supporter of the podcast head on over to anchor.fm slash rockstar 101 and a big thank you to victoria chevy veronica and karen for supporting us but on that note his name is shim he is the rock star his name is brandon he's the dj class dismissed